Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chuck. And my name's Deb. And we are Iron and Oak, Oak Sawmill. Sawmill. <laughs> uh, today's video, we're gonna be doing some six by sixes and we're gonna show you how to cut the perfect six by six. Okay, not perfect, but a really good six by six, as accurate as you can get, okay? Uh, we've done a few videos like this before, but people are asking again, so we're gonna do a little refresher on this one. Also, uh, this will work for any size beam for the most part. Um, but six by sixes is what we're cutting today. Actually, they want them store-bought size, five and a half by five and a half. So that's what we'll be cutting. We've got an order of 24 of these. We only have four done so far. And these have to be done before the end of the year. It is now December 4th. <laughs> so uh, with the holidays and everything else, we've got some work to do. And, and with the rain. And the rain. Yeah, get around Doesn't the rain. Help. And the logs, the logs to move over from the log yard and everything else. So the order is for anything we have. He said, just cut whatever doesn't matter what kind of wood it is so we're going to be mixing it up i think we've got some ash some uh we're going to have some poplar coming over but today it's a couple of smaller red oak logs we're going to try to squeeze probably four to five out of these two logs uh we'll have to see what we can get let's get a shot of this we've been owing this to this guy for a while so let's get a shot of this real quick you can see we're running the wood so we got smoke coming down here from the chimney but what i wanted to show you guys is hey jpf joe's premium firewood check it out he gave us a, he sent us this custom hat also the customized sweatshirt now this was last year this is a hoodie not last year earlier this year he sent it and i don't, I don't want to get it dirty <laughs> but uh i've been wanting to wear it for the channel and finally getting uh finally taking the time out to do that but what he did was customize it with our our logo now we've since changed our logo a little bit made it a little more colorful but this is the original the number one logo right there and then of course jpf here and jpf on the back so if you want to check out his channel joe's premium firewood or joe's firewood videos and joe's firewood videos too check him out on youtube guys so let's go ahead and get started with today's video All right, guys, got to go ahead and get the mill unpacked this morning. Yeah, we keep the mills outside, but we keep it well protected. We've got we got the tarp over the top. We've got uh, covers on the engine and covers on the. <laughs> so it's a little cold out here this morning, guys. We've got some ice on the mill. With the tarp over top the whole thing we've got an engine cover on here we got a control panel cover back here so the mill is well protected when it's out here and let me show you what else we have we have the track covers and if you want to see how these are made uh let me know and uh see we put the video together these are doing well so i don't need to make any more right now but i can at least tell you how we make them so if you want to know how we make them put it ask me down in the comment section i'll be glad to give you a few tips but they just snap piece of conduit one inch conduit and they just snap right over the over the tracks we do a squirt oil in here snap them on there keeps the track from rusting keeps everything real nice you do not want this rail to rust
All right, guys, first off, when you want to do beams and you want them free of heart or no pith wood in it, you want to make sure that you level the pith. And the way you do that, at least on the LT35, is you measure for the bunk to the living center of the tree, that's the pith. I notice I say the living center because it's where the, the tree's living center is, not just the center of the log, because the center the pith may be off center. So we measure to the pith of the tree or the living center of the tree. And in this case, it's eight and a quarter. That's darn close. That's only off by about an eighth of an inch. <laughs> That's a pretty good, pretty good tree. It's got some tiny growth rings in this as well. So we were within an eighth of an inch, made a tiny adjustment to the log, and uh, we are ready to start cutting. What we'll do is make our first face cut up off of here. We'll open up a decent sized face, at least up to probably seven inches, and then we'll go from there. So we're gonna go ahead and split this log right down the center, right down the pit, guys, and we're gonna work our pieces out from there. All right, guys, the six and a half wasn't quite enough. We're gonna go right to five and a half. And uh, I think that'll give us enough. I'm always concerned that if we do have any bow to it, if I go right to the final dimension at this point, then I won't be able to clean up any bow that, it, that we create later on. So, but I think we're good. There was no stress in there. It stayed really flat. I think we're in good shape. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off at five and a half. Flip it up on the side, square it up, and uh, cut our other dimension. Let's get started with that. The stops, you cannot depend on being square to the bunks of the mill. They're stops. They're not squares. They get, you, you, you got a lot of hydraulic pressure in that clamp. It moves the stops and knocks them out of square. Uh, so we never depend on those. If we're cutting posts and we want them nice and square, that's how you do it. That way these two cuts, we know, are parallel to each other. Once we put the square on here and square this face, we know that everything is square to one another. It's the best way to do it, the most accurate way to do it. And also, on the LT35, we have the roller toe boards. That's how we level it. Now, if you don't have roller toe boards, pry it up with your can hook, shim it on the bucks. Find some uh, blocks of wood or some even some door shims. If it's that little, shim them up just enough to get it, uh, get that pit nice and, nice and level. You don't have to have the roller toe boards. We didn't have it with the LT15 and we did the same thing, so. Let's go ahead and splice, uh, slice it down the middle and uh, we'll see how much reaction we get and uh, I don't think we'll get much and we should be able to square them up. We got a couple of good 6 by 6s So we do have a little bit of uh, reactive wood here. It did bow a little bit, but we have plenty of meat in this direction. We can go ahead and clean that up and make sure that they're nice and straight. Let's show you how we get that far. Now let's take it down to six and a half, see where we end up at. And 
I think we went down to six and a quarter on that cut. We do need to go down some more. Yeah, it still has some reactive wood in them. Uh, more in that one than the other one. I think we're gonna get our five and a half on this pass. There you have it guys. Uh, just so you know what these are going to be used for. They are for uh, shooting backstops. So the wane here is not an issue. About as heavy as the ash, right? A little heavier? A little heavier. Alright.
Well, there you have it, guys. How to cut. Almost perfect. I don't want to say definitely perfect. I don't want to say uh, almost perfect six by sixes. So uh, I think they'll be very happy with those. A little, like we said, a little bit of the weighing won't hurt. We're going to go ahead and run into this next log. Or start cutting into this next log. And uh, no chatting this time. We're just going to go through it, cut it. You might see a little bit of change from the first one. Because I said, it all depends on the log. For those of you concerned about the buggy end on this one, these are extra long. We're going to trim that bug end off, so don't worry about that. Well, there you have it, guys. Five more 6 by 6s for this order of 24. That gives us a total of nine here. We need 15 more. So we better get busy. We've got to go get some logs out of the log yard, and uh, that's going to mean hooking up the trailer to the Ford and getting over there with the tractor. So to all the folks, if you're new here, Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you're not new here, thank you for making it to the end of the video. But to all of you, thank you for your continued support of the channel. We definitely appreciate that. 28,000 plus subscribers getting to our goal of 30K and we're gonna have a nice uh, live stream on that one. I think that's gonna be a good time, but uh, how many logs you wanna move? Two. Two? You think that'll be enough? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I believe that. I believe we're gonna need the two. I don't think we're gonna get them all out of one. Six by sixes take up a lot of wood. So uh, we better get over there and get things moving. But uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing here at the channel, um, any of the tools we're using, uh, the saws, the uh, the mill, the tractors, whatever it is, please put it down in the comments section. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out. And we'll see you at our next time. Take care.